Welcome to the Just Another Dang How To channel. So on this video, we're going to install a self-signed certificate on your Apache localhost running on your Mac. So um, to get started, uh, we first need to create a self-signed certificate using Keychain Access. So you could use Keychain Access or you could use OpenSSL, uh, which is a command line tool. So for this, we're going to use the Keychain Access for Mac. Um, there's some documentation from the website if you go here which I'll drop a link here but we're gonna override the defaults so that we could use a subject alternate name which is now uh, required by the Chrome browser so if you don't uh, if you just generate a self sign certificate without uh, the additional SAN extension parameter it would not work so I'm just gonna quickly show you my current setup. So this is Apache running on my local machine. As you can see that um, it's saying your site's not secured. So if I go to HTTPS, and that uh, the, the site won't reach. So let's get started in creating that uh, self-signed certificate. So you could open your Spotlight and search for um, keychain access and you should have this so there's two ways that you could create a self-signed certificate you could create yourself as a CA uh, or certificate authority and then create a self-signed certificate signed by that CA or you could directly create a self-signed certificate so we're just gonna create a self-signed certificate directly so go to the keychain access menu and select certificate assistant and then uh, select create a certificate from here, give your certificate a name. Um, I'm gonna give it a name of localhost. Uh, it's a, it's a self-signed certificate, and I'm gonna select uh, SSL server. And tick the box, let me override the defaults, and click continue. Get a prompt, just click continue. You'll set the serial number, you set the val validity date for this one, so this is good for one year. Click continue. And this is for the certificate information. You could, most of these are all optional, so you could leave them as is. But for the common name, I'm gonna change that to localhost. Click continue. Uh, keep your information 24 bits, or you could go higher or 8192 bits. So I'm just gonna keep it to 2048 bits. Algorithm is RSA. There's also e, uh, ECC. You don't need to toggle that with that, so keep the defaults. For key usage, click on continue, keep the defaults. Similar with extended key usage, um, keep the defaults. And for the basic constraint, this one you tick the box. And actually, you don't need to tick the box. Just click on continue. And here it would ask you for the subject alternate name extension. So for the DSS name here, put localhost and for the IP address put in 127.1.1 oh. then click continue uh, specify location for certificate chain doesn't matter if you select uh, login or system and click create and then click done so that would create the certificate here for you but you would see by default this uh, it would prompt you that this is a self-signed root certificate certificate has been verified by a third party and if you open this up you would see on the trust section um, it says use system default so it's not yet trusted so um, the next one you need to do is you need to export this so you right click on the certificate and you click on export local host. So you have two options to export it. Um, you could export it as a CER, which is a sort of a binary for the certificate or the P12. So we're gonna export it as a CER and then you need to the private key. So also export the private key and this one you set it as uh, p12 
and you could put a password there but uh, for this tutorial I'm just gonna keep it blank um, it's gonna prompt me my administrator password for my computer just to export that file and if I go to my desktop you can see I have two files here uh, localhost and um, CDR and the p12 file so if we jump into the configuration of Apache it actually requires a CRT file and a um, if I could we just go to CD Apache 2 um, CRT file and a dot key file so if I go list um, you see there's an extra folder here for CD extra and these are the extra configuration files for Apache. We're going to open the httpd-ssl.conf. So sudo v So here it would say the modules that you require to be active on the main httpd file. So you need the mod underscore log underscore config mod underscore set environment if mod SSL and so cache which is like an object uh, object store uh, module so if I just quickly scroll down here so this listen to port 443 and around this section near the bottom uh, service certificate so would require a server CRT you could modify this and specify different path if you like but uh, keep it that way and the server key so um, what I need to do is I need to convert the CR into a plain text which is then gonna be CRT and the p12 into a key so I'm gonna open my editor on this directory and I'm gonna transform that file so first off is I'm gonna um, use the OpenSSL tool so say sudo OpenSSL and I'm gonna say a 509 certificate and inform this that this is a DR or binary file and the input file is the uh, localhost localhost CER and then the output file would be uh, let's just name it server CRT and if I could do that you would see that I now have a new uh, server certificate here and then next is I'm gonna convert the p12 into a key so I'm gonna use open SSL again so I say open SSL and I'm gonna say pkcs12 um, in file is the localhost uh, p12 and the out file is the server key and I'm just going to put dash notes here. Uh, it's going to prompt you to enter a password. You could keep that blank. And if I do a list, you would see that I now have a server certificate and a server key. Now I need to move this key into these locations on my Apache to make it work. So I'm just going to copy this first. I'm going to say uh, sudo move server crt into there and next I'm gonna copy this key I say sudo move server key to that directory and let's exit this file move one folder up and I'm on that folder now so I do this you would see I have those two files copied over so I can close this and that should be good enough and then here I need to enable 
those modules that we found on that HTTPD SSL file. So I'm going to edit this sudo v HTTPD conf. So I'm just going to quickly say um, hit the forward slash and then mod type mod SSL. And that should do a search. And you'll see that it hit the first module. Some of the modules are already enabled, like the uh, set uh, environment if by default. So the next is the C oh no it's C H S uh, what's the name of that file again that I need to modify it's cache it's a cache file so it's cache it's so cache um, I'm just gonna hit control N to so it's mod so cache ah this this module mod so cache shmcb so I'm gonna uncomment that and then next is I'm gonna HTTPD uh, SSL I'm gonna make sure this is included and save the file insert include save the file so you restart apache server now so sudo apache ctl restart you could check if your configurations are right by saying sudo apache ctl config test and if the syntax is all right you should be able to see this so let's now jump into my browser so if i refresh this you're gonna say your connection is not private if i do this it's gonna say your connection is now secure there's a certificate which is the local host that we have but it's prompting us that it's not secure. That's because we haven't trusted this certificate on our keychain. Remember it here? So if I do this, open it, open it up, and I say trust, and say always trust, close that, it's gonna prompt for me an administrator password. You would see that it's now trusted with the trust sign. And just like that, you would see that it's now trusted and there's no error on this side so if i open that certificate now you would see that this is trusted click on the details you would see all the details that we entered and also the particular one that is the subject alternative name which is now required by uh, google chrome so just to recap what we did is we use um, a keychain created a self-signed certificate and then we exported those files and then we um, converted those files into um, CRT and CSR and key and dot key file. And then we modified the Apache configuration. I copied those uh, files into the Apache folder. And then we modified the HTTPD configuration to enable the modules that we need and include the HTTPD SSL configuration file. Cool. Uh, hope you like it. I'll be adding more videos for uh, SSL again. Uh, this time we're going to try using this uh, on the command line. Create the self-signed certificate on the command line. Um, hope you like this video. If you have some comments or questions, please add them on the comment box below. Um, cheers. Bye for now.